Monday morning. It is time to start making some more sawdust. Hope you guys all had a great weekend. We've got great things going on. We're going to move on to the number five video on this. Uh, now you guys, everybody knows, found out on Friday for John Malecki. Um, terrific. And, and if you guys haven't gone and checked out his channel and his Instagram, uh, terrific guy. Very nice guy in person. Very motivating and uh, just an all around good guy. And he does some great stuff. Um, so here's the plan today. We, I'm, I'm hoping that we can get a bunch done on this flag, if not all of it done. So what we're really trying to accomplish this week is get this thing completely done. I don't know whether that'll happen. Three more videos, we might be able to get it all done. We'll see. So here's what we've done. We've taken this, again, vinyl piece, laid it down. Now we've got packing tape over the top of it. The packing tape does a couple different things. It keeps it from fraying up too much, the vinyl. And we'll do the same thing if you're using paper, by the way. And it kind of um, uh, keeps the router bit lubricated as well. The, uh, the stuff on the back of the tape helps to kind of lubricate the, um, the router bit. So my plan is first, and you guys will see this, go all the way around the outside shape. Then I'll come back in and do the detail, and we'll just keep moving on from there. So, let's get after this and get on it. So, I hope you guys are liking this stuff so far. It seems to uh, be coming out kind of the way I want it so far. Let's see here. Get my hand off the bench. So, I am using the profile bit. Pretty much be using the profile bit on all of the detail on this thing. Oh, that's the wrong way. I think I've got it a little too deep. I want to set it. I'm doing the outline around the outside, and I'm going to go around that twice, but only once with this profile bit, I think. I'm setting it at about a quarter of an inch. All right, here we go. Hi, guys. Hey, one thing I don't think I mentioned here is I'm with that profile bit. I am about a quarter of an inch deep somewhere around there. I'm just not sure whether I mentioned that. Just want to make sure you knew. Okay, I stopped there because my line here, I didn't draw that uh, like I did these lines over here. You can see I drew this one. I'm not sure if I'm moving too fast for you there, babe. But I drew this one and these here, but I failed to draw that line, and I don't want any confusion on that. So I am going to take the time and draw that line as soon as I find my pen. <laughs> Again. Oh, there it is. All right. I would have rather draw this line. Draw? Drew? Have drawn. Have drawn. There you go. Mm -hmm. Have drawn this line underneath the packing tape. But, at least I'm drawing it now. Now over here it seems to, to show up better. But, I'm just going to take my time and, again, like I talked about on the last video, there's no sense in rushing through this. These lines actually show up pretty well. I'm not too worried about those over there. Yeah, that's much better. That would be much easier to follow. All right. Sorry for the delay, guys. Here we go.
Okay, so now we've got that outline done. Again, I'm going to go around that again when I have uh, my, my bigger cleanup bit. But right now I want to go in here and do some of these stars. All right, so we're back. Vicky had to change the battery. The battery on the camera was getting a little low. So now I'm going to go in and do some of these stars and show you how I go about that. What I'm going to do is I've got little pieces of stars on the edge. There's two here and one there, and I think that's it. And I want to get those done first to make sure that I don't forget them. So all I'm going to do is off camera, I'm going to go ahead and finish up these stars and then we'll come back and we'll get those straight lines and then move into the stripes. All right, I got the stars done. Now I'm going to cut these lines here. Again, this is going to be inset or these are all, this is all going to be cut away. The white stripes are going to be outset. The red stripes are going to be inset. So I'm going to carve these lines. Then I'm going to spin the board and start carving these long straight lines. Here we go. Okay, folks, I'm doing another little voiceover here. So on this part of the sign here, again, I'm using the profile bit, and I'm about a quarter of an inch deep. Now, the thing that you want to remember when you're carving long straight lines is definitely keep the router moving. If for any reason you need to stop or you feel some kind of um, impediment to your line, definitely lift the router out right away. If you stop with a router bit in the wood, that's when you end up getting bobbles. So you definitely try to do that. The other thing is try and pull the, the line toward you. You're going to have much more control by pulling the router toward you rather than pushing away when at all possible. The other thing that I want you to uh, realize here is look at my hand position. Look at the way my fingers are in line or in contact with the base and the, and the board at the same time. That really helps you control that router. It gives you a stability that you wouldn't have otherwise. Hope this helps. Alright guys, I think you got an idea of what I'm doing here. So I'm cutting on the inside of, the, of this line here and the inside because this is all going to be cut away. You still I'm, got router ear. Oh yes, <laughs> router <laughs> ear. Yeah, I don't have cauliflower ear. I've got router ear. Uh, so I'm going to just, all right, I'll, I'll demodulate a little bit. So I'm going to finish up these lines all the way through off camera. We'll come back and then we'll take out this, uh, the red, and we'll take out the blue uh, with the background bit. All right, I've got all of the, the preliminary profile work done. Now I'm going to change bits, but I'm going to still keep a profile bit. But I want to show you something here. So this is these are both profile bits, but this one I've had around longer, and I've sharpened it probably, I don't know, a dozen times. If you notice these bits, this one is fatter, this one's skinnier. This one will cut a fatter line at the same depth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch profile bits. This is the one that I did all of this carving with is this profile bit. I'm going to put the fatter profile bit in and I'm going to go in and fatten up all my lines. So we're going to do that right now. I'll put that other one away and I will put the router base housing on. Wrong. Oh, there it is. Nope, I did it wrong again. Dad, damn it. I had it right the first time. Yes, that's correct. 
All right, so let me put that away. All right, here we go. Stop. You can see kind of what I'm doing there. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of these stars and then I'm going to finish up the same the same process on these red stripes and then we'll come back and we'll get into the actual background cleanup. Okay guys, I've got uh, all pretty much all the carving uh, up to the cleanup right now. I got all my lines uh, widened up. So now I've got my 90 degree bit in, but before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and peel off all of this vinyl. Um, it'll take me a, a few minutes to do, but actually it comes off really much, much better than if this was paper. That's the reason I don't like, or I don't mind carving through this vinyl very much. You can see if that was paper, it would probably be breaking. But so I want to get all this tape and all this vinyl off here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. You can kind of see what I'm doing there. And uh, I'll finish this up and then we'll come back and we'll get back into carving. Okay, so what I've done here, we've taken all of the vinyl off. And I've kind of marked what, uh, now that the vinyl's off of there, it makes it a little bit difficult if I don't mark these spots. So you can see I've marked what's red, basically. And anything that's not red, these are outset. These are going to be wood color. The blue, uh, the, the, I marked a little bit of this blue, but I pretty much know, uh, I'm, or I'll try and remember not to take out any of those stars. <laughs> that would be bad. Anyway, but the first thing I'm going to do is go and cut a big fat line all the way around, and then we'll get into the cleanup. So I'm using my 90 degree V groove. You guys are pretty much used to this, and uh, using the bigger router, the big 618 router. All right. Let's get after it. Uh-oh, I don't have enough cord. Oh. Hang on, guys. That, and you're not plugging That's either. good. That's good. This might help. Yeah. Plugging it in is a good thing. Yeah. Electricity helps. <laughs> Thank you, my lovely assistant. <laughs> you're All right, here we go. If I've got a lot of background cleanup to do, I like using the bigger 618 rather than the 611, so I don't overwork my 611. The 618 handles it with no problem at all. Okay, I'm going to make an adjustment. That's not quite enough light for me. I don't know how it looks for you guys, but I need a little bit more light. So I'm going to see what I can do about that. I'm going to use my little, my little handy dandy light deal here. And we're going to get some light on that. It's a little bit better light situation on that. I do not want to cut the wrong thing away. We'll see how that works. Here we go. Okay, 
So, I got my big fat line, my big fat Greek line all the way around here. Now I'm going to go back and uh, I'm going to start taking out some of this so you guys can see how I go about doing that. Uh, a lot of sawdust. Here we go. Put your thing down. Hmm? Oh, my hood thing down. Yep. So what I what I've decided to do on this, guys, this thing kicks out so much sawdust. Sometimes it's best to, to wear the uh, the face shield rather than just my my cheaters. And I don't uh, I don't need um, actually I need to look this over and be really really careful. Then I'm not cutting cutting away part of a star here. Okay, so that I'm gonna get out my blue pen. To help me a little bit. Again, that's another really good reason to always have a printout with you. I don't know. Can you see that on camera, babe? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, happy. yeah. Anyway, so I can look at that and I can see what is uh, what is supposed to be blue and what is not. So that's a star there. So I just need to make sure that I I know what I'm cutting away. That's one good thing about having the vinyl on it. The bad thing about having the vinyl on it is the more it curls up, the more it gets kind of caught on the router base. So, you know, there's advantages and disadvantages both ways. All right, I think I kind of, I got the idea here. That's blue, blue, blue. Yeah, all right, I think. Mean, I think I can handle that. About these ones. Oh, yeah. yeah those. That's definitely blue, blue, blue. Yeah. That's that's yeah. blue there. That is blue. Yeah. All right. Just, I've done my job for you. Yeah. <laughs> There's some pretty fingers and some ugly fingers in there. <laughs> and mine ain't the pretty ones. All right, here we go. Uh. This light was not cooperating at all. I couldn't get it to stay where I wanted it. Here's where that extra wide line that I put around all the stars and also inside of the stripes comes into play. If I didn't have that extra wide line, then I'd have to get really close with this cleanup bit and take the chance of nicking one of those stars. All right, you guys, I, I think you guys kind of got the idea of what I'm doing here. I'm going to go ahead and take the rest of this background out. Then I'm going to take these stripes out and get all that red that, that's going to be red. Get that all out and we'll be right back. All right, it appears that all the carving is done, you guys. Um, so we've got these areas that are gonna be red. We've got these are gonna be blue. This is gonna be the blue field. And then the, uh, the stripes and the stars are gonna be uh, basically white color. But what I've gotta do now is I've gotta take down all the high spots and I like to look, and you guys that have been watching for a while, I like to look at it at kind of a, you know, kind of parallel to the board. That helps me see these high spots. I don't want these high spots to come up as, uh, as red in here or blue in here. So um, I've got a lot of that to do. And, and then, of course, brush it with my stiff bristle brush. And then we're going to get into the coloring on uh, Wednesday's video. So hopefully Wednesday's video will be the last of this. We'll do all the coloring, sanding, and uh, then move on to the next step after that. So that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed this. We, uh, I'm enjoying the fact that all the carving is done now because I, I think I ate about a half a pound of sawdust. But... Um, you know me, I love it. So um, everybody, hope you guys are have a great week. And um, if you if this is the first time you've watched, we'd love it for you if you'd subscribe. If you found this helpful and all of our other 700 some videos, 
We'd love for you to subscribe. Uh, follow me on um, Instagram, Make a Wood Sign. I'm doing a lot more on there. And if you guys have any questions, be sure and email me directly. Not through Facebook, but directly. Eric at MakeAWoodSign.com. Thanks again, guys. We sure appreciate it. And we will see you guys on Wednesday. Bye-bye.